Fermentation temperature can have a huge impact on your beer. You want a nice healthy yeast that's working out its preferred temperature range. This will be on the packet of the yeast and it'll vary quite a lot. It's really important that your beer ferments in this working range. If you can ferment at the lower end of this range, this will give you a cleaner beer. If your yeast is working at too high a temperature, it'll produce a lot of flavours that aren't particularly pleasant. If your fermentation temperature is too cold, your beer simply won't ferment. The yeast won't be able to work. This can lead to trouble down the track through overcarbonation and explosions, which you definitely don't want. So you've got a few options to help control your wort's uh, fermenting temperature. The first option is to brew with the season. This means brewing at the time of year where the ambient temperature is within your yeast working range. You don't need to do anything. The room temperature is going to be fine. The other thing you can do is choose a yeast that suits the ambient temperature. So in winter for example, you might use a lager yeast. In the warmer months you can use a yeast that works at a higher temperature. There's some suggestions with the ebook that goes with this course on yeast that work at different temperature ranges. You can also invest in a heating pad or a heating belt. The option I use is a fermentation fridge. So I've got an old fridge which has an external thermostat fitted. This means I can dial on the temperature I want. In the cooler months I'll have a heat lamp inside which will maintain a temperature that suits the beer I'm trying to make. I really like this option because I can brew any time of year to make any style of beer. It also means that I can clean and sanitise inside the fridge and maintain a really clean environment for the beer to ferment. If you're trying to cool your beer down by a few degrees, there's a couple of hacks you can use. One of these is getting an old t-shirt and covering your fermenter and sitting it in a water bath. The water will soak up the t-shirt and as it evaporates, it'll cool your beer down. You can also use ice bottles sitting on top of your fermenter. You might have parts of your house that are, that are cool in summer and warm in winter that'll lend themselves to brewing. Whatever option you look at, make sure you monitor both the ambient temperature and your beer's working temperature as well. Fermentation produces its own heat, so it can be up to 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees Celsius warmer than the ambient. So it's important to keep an eye on it and just to make sure it's within the, the correct working range.